Now, a News 2 I-Team investigation. 1.6 million dollars in VA equipment lost or stolen from the Ralph H. Johnson VA Medical Center in downtown Charleston. Equipment you paid for with your tax dollars. It's equipment that's meant to help take care of our veterans. We sent investigator Brad Franco to get answers. This is a story you'll only see on two. And journalists at our sister stations are finding the same problem is plaguing the VA. And it's not the small ticket items that are going to walk that get your attention. How about a tractor? One of those is missing from a VA in Texas. Here in Charleston, the VA reported everything from a $5 pager to a nearly $50,000 computer system as lost. Once a year, 100% of all equipment is inventoried with a barcode scanner. Felisa Koenig is the assistant director of the Ralph H. Johnson Medical Center in downtown Charleston. She says the results of that report of survey or inventory showed a less than 1% loss, some of the best numbers in the VA system. But that's still more than 1,300 pieces of equipment, and the VA's own report claims that taxpayers spent more than $1.5 million on that lost equipment. The large dollar value items, the items that obviously can't move, they're the ones that, that really raise the red flag. A pair of servers for forty grand, a $28,000 computer, a video camera processor they bought for nearly $11,000, plus thousands of dollars in other medical diagnostic equipment, all of it listed as lost. But Koenig says the numbers in the report of survey don't paint an accurate picture. So while it is dollar-wise a large amount, um, we believe that most of it is due to administrative error. That is what our report of survey team has actually come back and said, that we believe that many of these were turned into logistics without the proper paperwork or were discarded by the using service due to being broken um, without the paperwork ever making it to logistics service. So we asked the VA for more documentation and what they gave us shows the vast majority of the items listed on that report of survey as lost were either found or depreciated drastically when they broke or the VA lost track of them. So instead of more than a million dollars, the VA says that equipment was worth a little more than $283,000. Our investigation also revealed the VA reported 13 televisions, high def TVs, stolen. Same with 23 iPads valued at more than $14,000. So when it comes to loss, we're talking about taxpayer dollars, mm -hmm. what is acceptable? So I think that that we should always shoot for having no loss. However, that's that's not a realistic standard. There's always going to be things that maybe in somebody's desk drawer that don't get scanned. There's going to be items that get discarded without the proper paperwork. Um, and unfortunately, there will always probably be theft. Now, Koenig admits reports like this one make the VA look bad, but this is the current reporting system that they have. The VA is trying to tighten up their process, though. There's a pilot program using GPS chips on every piece of equipment that Koenig is hoping is implemented system-wide very soon. Brad Franco, News 2. If you have something you want the I-Team to investigate, email us at iteam at wcbd.com. You can also call the I-Team hotline at 843-216-4949.